Hello there. It's set to turn into a thundery Sunday for some of us and there are thunderstorm warnings in force for parts of Northern Ireland and much of England and Wales. As always, thunderstorms will be scattered by nature, so not everywhere in these regions will see one, but where they do occur, they could bring some torrential downpours of rain, hail, lightning and strong gusts of wind. For some of us, that rain might be quite welcome to help water the gardens, but do be aware that some surface water issues are possible with sudden flooding, travel delays, and some really quite difficult traveling conditions if you are out and about throughout the day on Sunday. Scotland will tend to get away with a bit of a drier and brighter day, more in the way of some sunshine. It's still some cloud lingering across the Northern Isles and through some Eastern coastal areas as well a bit more cloud in between any of the showers across other areas and that is going to make it feel quite humid for a lot of us temperatures around 22 to 26 degrees celsius so still feeling very warm as we head into this evening those showers will start to merge into a longer band of rain steadily pushing its way northwards across northern england and then into scotland so further rain warnings are in force for this 30 60 millimeters of rain falling in the space of three to six hours. That's almost half a month's worth for some regions. So again, some difficult traveling conditions possible during the overnight period. Generally, it will turn drier to the south of that, some clearer spells developing. We might see some ice age mist and fog patches as well. Temperatures just slightly cooler compared to some recent nights, but many of us will still be holding up around 15, 16 degrees Celsius. So many of our urban areas still feeling quite muggy and humid. A wet start to the new working week then across Scotland as this area of heavy rain continues to push its way northwards. Drier and brighter elsewhere, but that sunshine is strong and it will help develop the showers into the afternoon. Again, some of those could be heavy with some rumbles of thunder as well, perhaps particularly across parts of Northern Ireland. There will there'll be a bit more sunshine in between the showers on Monday compared to Sunday bit breezy through the Irish Sea and parts of northeast Scotland, but those winds are shifting to more of a southerly direction. Particularly, that means for eastern areas, it is going to feel a touch warmer on Monday because we lose that cool easterly breeze that we've had of late feeding in from the North Sea. So temperatures in the east climb to highs of around 26 degrees Celsius. Further towards the west, still around 22, 23 degrees Celsius. So certainly still warm if you are out in that sunshine. As we head into Monday evening, the showers will gradually ease their way off, but it could take a little bit of time for Northern Ireland, parts of Western Scotland, but come the early hours of Tuesday morning, it will turn drier here as well. Again, some isolated mist and fog patches forming, perhaps a little cloud pushing in across parts of Southeast England as well to, again, make it a rather humid night. We do essentially do it all again on Tuesday because low pressure is staying with us and there is the potential for further bands of showers and heavy rain for many locations as we move throughout the day. Still some uncertainty in regards to the details on that, so do keep up to date with the forecast and we'll be providing those updates across all of our social media channels. So do follow us there. You can also download our app where you'll be able to track thunderstorms and showers live and see where they are heading. We'll see you again very shortly. Bye-bye.